In this video I'm going to go over the integral of cos 5x dx. So now, how do we get started? What will be the integral of cos to the power 5x? Well, when you're working out integrals of trig ratios which are raised to powers, we need to make sure that we express them as multiple angles. Or if we can't, at least we need to simplify them so that they will have there will be a product of other trig ratios. And so starting with integral itself, how can we express cos to the power 5 in another form? So we can as well write this cos to the power 5x dx as the integral of cos x multiplied by cos to the power 4 of x dx. Again, we know that cos to the power 4, so this is going to be the integral of cos of x and cos to the power 4 is the same as cosine squared of x and then squared dx. So that if we get to multiply two times, so that will still give us power 4. And where there is cosine squared, we are going to replace with 1 minus sine squared x and that is raised to the power 2 dx. And from here now we can simply distribute, I can write this thing two times and start crossing and multiplying, or I can just say the integral of cosine of x, I get the first number square it, that is going to make, give me a 1, and then get 2, multiply with the first number and then the second number, so that is going to give us negative 2 sine squared x, and then get this one also square it, that will become positive sine, it becomes power 4x, okay, and then dx. So from here we will work it out. So I'm going to now use u substitution at this point. And so where there is u, um, where there is sine of x, I'm going to put u. So say, let u be equal to sine of x. And the reason of doing that is I want to express everything in terms of sine. We know that the derivative for sine is cos, and so this cos will be able to cancel out. That is the aim of integral of trig functions. Make sure that 1 cancels out so that we just remain with 1 ratio. And so from here we're going to find du, and du is simply equal to, how do you find? Take the positive x as sine, the negative x as negative sine, positive x as cosine, and then negative x as negative cosine of x. Differentiating is going in the anti-clockwise manner. So if I get to differentiate sin, I get cos. So this is going to be cosine of x. Well, I shouldn't forget dx because I didn't put dx in the denominator for du. And so that is going to give us the integral of cosine of x, open brackets, that would be 1 minus 2, where the sine squared, that would be u. And so it would be u squared since u is sine of x. And then plus where there was sine to the power 4, that would be u to the power 4. And then where there was dx, this dx, we're going to make dx subject the formula there. So dx is going to be equal to du divided by cosine of x. So this will be du divided by cosine of x. And from here we can clearly see the cosine and the cosine gets to cancel out. And that was the aim of us even taking all this approach. And so that is going to give us the integral of 1 minus 2u to the power 2 plus u to the power 4 du. So now everything is in terms of u. What's the integral of 1 with respect to u? That will simply be a u. What is the integral of 2u to the power 2 with respect to u? That will be 2u. Get to add the 1 to the power and then divide by the same. And then u to the power 4. That will be u. Add the 1 to the power, power 5. And then divide by the same. And then add a constant c. And from this point, we can simply go direct and get to substitute where there is. You remember we said u should be equal to sine of x. So this is going to be sine of x minus 2 sine, that is power 3, that will be cubed x over 3, and then plus sine, that is raised to the power 5x over 5, and then plus a constant c. If I want, I can factorize out sine because it's common, and that will leave us with 1 minus 2 over 3, sine squared x, and then plus sine to the power 4x, 
and then plus a constant c so that is going to be the end of this question thank you so much for watching enjoy your day